Hi everyone, I'm Margaret Smith. I'm content editor of Worcester Magazine. Today I'm here with Dean Sycon. You may know him as the founder of Dean's Beans, but he is also a writer and he's written a novel and uh, has come to share a little bit from that novel. First of all, Dean, thank you for taking the time. Sure. Your novel is called Finding Home, Hungry, 1945. Um, tell us a, a little bit about the passage you're going to read for us. So. In 1945, the Jews that survived concentration camps, some of them tried to go to their hometowns. This is the story about a number of them who tried to return to a very small town in Hungary called Laszlo. So the scene opens after each of these three characters has tried to return to their home or their business, only to find it taken over by other people. Okay. Well, we look forward to hearing um, a little bit. If you could read that section for us. Sure. It would be wonderful. It's Eva, 18-year-old Eva Fleiss, and then two men, uh, a butcher named uh, Oscar and Yosel, who's a baker. Eva, the world is so chaotic right now. The war is barely over, and everyone is just trying to move on and make sense of the madness. We have suffered so much, but the people of Laszlo are in shock, too. Many of them lost sons and brothers in the war. Imagine being on the other side of that door for a moment. What a shock the woman must have felt when she opened it and realized who you were. We need to give this time. We must have faith that our neighbors will come to their senses and give us the justice we deserve. We have to be sensitive to their pain, just as we want them to be sensitive to ours. Sensitive to their pain? Yosel and Eva turned to see Oscar charge into the kitchen. Their pain is nothing compared to ours. When we do Shabbos tonight and I reach out my hands to bless over my children, no one will be there to receive it. He placed his hands out before him, then clenched them back and drew them into his chest. I have nothing. His longing permeated the air. Yosel tried to placate the distressed butcher. Oscar, please, we were only... And who's going to come to their senses? The police are the same ones who loaded us away. The men who worked with the Arrow Cross and the Germans are still walking the streets of Laszlo. Their lives haven't changed. They just ditched their uniforms and put on street clothes. And those people who stole our homes and everything we owned, they'll never give anything back. Did you tell Eva what the town clerk said? We're trapped in this damn hotel. Eva gasped as a bolt of fear hit her chest. They won't give me my house back? She looked at Yosel wild-eyed. The baker moved his hands in smoothing motion, as if he was kneading the air. Oscar, you heard the town clerk this morning. If people don't return our property, we have legal means. Oscar barked a protest. Yosel continued, I know, I know it won't be easy, and it'll take time, but there are good people in Laszlo. If we're cautious and follow the rules, we'll recover everything we've lost. He turned to Eva. You'll see, and you will play your piano in your house again. The butcher picked up a slab of dough, stared at it until his anger seemed dull by sorrow, and thumped it back on the table. You're right about one thing, Yosel. We have to be smart how we go about things. Some of the townspeople want to forget and move on. Some may even feel bad about what happened. But I'm telling you, the war may be over, but hatred never surrendered. It was here long ago and will be here past our lifetimes. There are still plenty of people out there looking for an excuse to get rid of us once for all. Thank you so much. Um, again, this is Dean Sycon, founder of Dean's Beans and also author of the novel Finding Home, Hungry 1945. Thank you so much for taking the time and sharing that passage from your book. And uh, thank you everybody for following our coverage and our videos and you can find more content at WorcesterMag.com. Thanks again, Dean.